is almost 10 30 and i am getting ready to go and get some gas um i have to drive about 30 minutes away because i don't know if you guys can see but I lost the ball to my tragus ring and so I had to sleep with a piece of cotton in my ear last night just to kind of keep it the post in place and I just can't take it anymore so I have to drive and go get one um, from the lady that pierced it but that is totally fine um, like I said I'm just gonna go get some gas right now and then we'll be on our way hey guys let me take this off I just got to the place where I was just <laughs> going to get like a replacement ball for my tragus and um i did and she also ended up taking out the whole jewelry um which i wasn't planning on but i mean it's cool and she actually went on ahead and replaced it because she said it was looking really good so she went on ahead and changed it and here is what it looks like my ears a little bent because of my hat but hopefully you can see that i really love it she put a hoop in um she said that my tragus was like super short um, well, not short, but like it's it's thicker. So she actually put in like another one like this that was just a post and it was way too short. It didn't fit. So that might have been why my ball kept popping off. Um, so she said that this hoop right here is probably going to be way more comfortable for me and it's just going to work better. And plus, it's just so cute. I really, really like it. So that's done i'm now gonna go get some food because i'm super super hungry um there's a really good biscuit place around the corner so i'm probably gonna go there um hi can i please get a um just a plain chicken biscuit with cheddar cheese mm -hmm. and that's all um uh, we're gonna go to chicken and cheese i have the total for you at the window thank, thank you, you. so pretty outside today it's like it's hot but it's not to the point where it's scorching and it's like a really nice breeze it's like a really pretty fall day i wish i didn't have so much school to do later i have this assignment that i've literally been avoiding all week and i'm probably going to be in tears later about it but it is what it is it's the very last one that i'm going to do on my own and then i have a group one and I'm done with the class, but I'm I'm feeling really, really strong BS coming on for this assignment tonight because I've just had it. So this is a cheddar chicken biscuit and it's very good. <laughs> it's definitely country cooking, which I love. I am now here getting ice cream that I don't need. Let's go well with a bang, 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 bang. Pretend you know this song, everybody come hang. Let's go out with a bang, 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 bang. Thank you. You too. They put, sometimes they put little eyes on here. And she did. <laughs> so again, this is a cake batter cup with rainbow sprinkles. And they're the little googly eyes everyone say hi to my little brother Braxton this is my mom's dog say hi hi oh. we just got him not too long ago he is so full of energy because he's still a puppy and he's crying right now because He's just mad that I won't let him on the couch and he's just fussing because he's a baby. Um, but he's a terrier mix, we think. Um, I still think he's going to get pretty big because look at his hands. His hands are so big. And they're so big that like he doesn't even know what to do with them. But yeah, this is baby Braxton. Hi, Braxton. Crazy thing. <laughs> hey guys, it's the middle of... My work day, I still have like four-ish more hours to go. Um, right now I'm gonna go take a longer break. Um, I have to run two errands. I have to go to Walmart to get some toiletries. And I also have to go to Goodwill to donate some stuff um, that I just don't use anymore. Um, I did a massive closet clean out yesterday and my closet looks so much better. 
um so yeah i'm gonna take you guys along with me to walmart show you what i get and i'll show you my donation box um i'm pretty sure all of it's closed um it's been a while since i actually looked through it but there's a few cute things in here there's this cute barbie beanie um this is like a barbie jersey um from forever 21 i just i lost weight and then it looked kind of boxy on me but it's super cute someone's gonna get really lucky with this stuff um and then this i just didn't really like the fit of it um it's inside out so it's kind of hard to show you but it's basically like this silky pink top and then it has like skeleton hands on it and it looks like it's like cupping your boobs <laughs> it's really funny and cute but yeah just like lots of girly stuff here is some vintage powerpuff girl curtains comment down below if you had this bed set i had it in like the early 2000s and for some reason i still had the curtain um i don't know what it's called but it's the thing that like goes on the curtain rod i still had this one and then i also believe this one is a just a pink pillowcase there's some really cute black sequin -y curtains some jeans a random halloween candy corn bow um so yeah lots of fun stuff in here that i'm just gonna go ahead and donate um because i just don't have any good uses for them anymore so let's go ahead and go to goodwill I do have a few more gifts to get for like my mom my boyfriend i'll probably get her new dog um a little something i've pretty much gotten everything for my pin pal just i need to get probably like a few more things for her um i'm gonna be submitting an order to morphe on the 24th because if you guys don't know morphe is releasing a lisa frank collection and I don't know about you guys but i was like obsessed with lisa frank as a child like i was in the lisa frank fan club um if you were in that or if you know about that comment down below um because i feel like a lot of people don't know about that but basically it was a fan club i was probably like in elementary school and my mom signed me up for it and i would get like little gifts from lisa frank every month so i remember one month i got like a pillow with um I'm a Virgo so it said Virgo on it and it had like the little like blonde surfer girl on it it was so cute I would get like pencils and binders like I would just get such cool stuff the fact that a makeup collection is being released that is Lisa Frank themed like just take all of my freaky money like there is a pencil case that I used to have that looks just like the makeup case in that collection i'll um insert a picture here um but yeah i'm my plan is to just buy the whole collection on the 24th at midnight that's when it's supposed to come out there's not much in it um but that whole collection i will be doing a video about it to like review it and to show it my god this is kind of light for me right now and i look kind of crazy because i have <laughs> lash extensions right now so like I had tried to be really careful with foundation around my eyes because I don't want to get any clumps in my lashes, even though I can wash them out and like I wash my lashes every day. But like still, I just I don't want to like have clumps of liquid in my lashes. The lashes have been super fun for me. Like I just feel good like all the time when I have them. Like I just I feel so pretty and I feel so cute because um, it's just like it adds something extra that I felt like 
I needed, especially with wearing a mask all the time. Like I'm, I'm not wearing much makeup these days because I just don't really see a point in it with the mask. Um, when I do wear the makeup, like it's all over my mask and I have to usually find like a disposable one to wear. So the lash extensions kind of give that extra little something to make it look like you're wearing makeup um, with your mask on. The first time I got them, I didn't really like them because the lady that did mine before, I don't really know what happened. I think she was gluing them on like too tight, if that's even possible. But I just remember like my lashes would like ache. They would like ache. And I was washing them like every day and I was taking very good care of them. And I knew I was taking good care of them because when I went back to her, she was like, wow, you'd be like the ideal lash client because you have like enough left for a fill and they look super clean. So I knew that I was doing everything that I was supposed to, but they would just like ache on the ends and it would feel like super tight. And it was just, it was just weird. So um, her work was beautiful, but like I stopped going back to her because she just wasn't very reliable. And then I was also having those issues with her. But yeah, lashes definitely give you a whole new look and I really like it. Other than that, um, I'm coming up on my very last semester. My last semester of college is January to May and then I graduate in May, which I'm super excited about. And um, I'm getting ready to finish off this semester. Um, I have to finish up just a few more assignments for two classes and then I'm, I'm done and I'll be off from December to January 19th, which I fully need so that's gonna be very nice I think that's the longest break I've ever had while being in college um I'm not sure if it just played out like that I don't know if they're giving us more time off because of the pandemic or what but I'm extremely grateful for that and I'm gonna try my best to use it to the fullest um when I have long breaks like that like I try to plan what I'm gonna do because I just want to make the most out of my time, you know? I want to relax, but I also like to do things, so I'll probably, like, make make a point to, like, read a book or listen to an audiobook or something. Um, I also want to record more. Um, I want to write more. I'm not sure if it's this ring light washing me out or if it is the foundation or what, but I'm not liking it. And I don't think any of this is getting on the brush either. I need to buy a new bronzer because, I don't know, maybe I've just gotten paler because of the winter. Is any pink on my face? Jeez, I did this to add some color, but I don't see anything happening. This is like going everywhere except for on my face. I'm just going to put it all over my face because it's clear that nothing is happening. Ooh, is something happening? Okay, that is what's going to have to do. So as far as shows that I've been watching these days, um, before the one I'm watching now, I watched Sex Education on Netflix. Um, that was very good and a new season is coming out in 2021 from what I heard and the show that I'm watching now is called The Secret Diary of a Call Girl. Um, I'm watching it on Tubi which is absolutely free. Again if you have not signed up for Tubi yet go ahead and do it because it's absolutely free. It's like a free streaming service. All you have to do is make an account. But yeah it's basically about this girl that is a escort in London and there's four seasons each episode is only like 25 minutes long so it's super easy to watch from start to finish and it's just really good so I recommend that it's also available on Amazon Prime Video. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna watch after this um but my I'm even making a goal for when I'm supposed to be done with the show like that's pretty bad that I can't even I don't know I feel like school forces me to just like make goals with everything like when I want to be when I want to start something when I want to finish something and I just I shouldn't be planning when I want to be finished with this show by but my goal is to finish this show by December the 1st and start a new show by December the 1st should I put on some eyeshadow I feel like with extensions it's so hard to put on eyeshadow but I mean I'll try yeah this is so difficult because my lashes are in the way. 
This is the My Little Pony palette by Pure, and I'm using the color Laughter, which is this one. It's pretty much almost gone. Sorry, it's kind of powdery, but it's just like this bronzy color. What I'm going to use on my lips is Milani's Matte Naked. It's this really pretty um, beige nude. It reminds me of a teddy bear for some reason. I don't know why, but this is probably my favorite lipstick. I usually don't like mattes, but I really like this one. And even though it's a matte, of course I use a gloss because I always use lip gloss and lipstick. This is Starry's Honey Gloss in Strawberry. Hmm. I just got a big old chunk on my teeth. We love that. So all I'm going to do now is I'm going to brush my brows and I'm going to brush my lashes. And we're going to finish off with the setting spray that we started with. This is Morphe's Continuous Setting Mist in Sweet Peach. This is from Sweetie's Collection. Well, there's quite a bit of makeup in here, in my brows, so I'm actually going to fill them in a little bit to make them darker. So from the same My Little Pony palette, um, I guess I'll just use one of the browns. I'll use this one down here. This one's called Songbird Serenade, and it actually has a little bit of purple in it, but I've used it before because um, even though my eyebrows are black, you always want to use a brown because it looks more natural. If you use a black, um, it'll look like you use an eyeliner pretty much and it's you can tell that it's fake looking is what my point is. Um, and some people like that look and that's totally fine, um, but it's just, it's not for me, so yeah. And then so that this isn't as harsh when I'm finished, I'll just brush through them again. I'm telling you one thing, my brows have came a long way because I remember the first time I got them waxed, like I thought that they looked so good, but the lady that did them did them so thin because they were pretty bushy before. And I don't know, in certain cultures, they just they just prefer thin eyebrows and they think it looks better on everyone. Um and I mean not to toot my own horn, but I think I could pull off both. I could pull off, you know, when they're thicker like this. Um, and I could also pull off when they were super thin. Um, but looking back, I guess because that's just so not the style now. I was just like, what the crap? What was I thinking? Like they, they and they looked, they actually looked bad. <laughs> like on my driver's license picture, like my cousin was like, who did your brows? And I'm like, at the time it was my nail lady. She's like you should have punched her in the face. And yeah, I I don't know. I don't know. And the fact that I was going to her every two weeks and paying her to do that, it was just it just blows my mind now. Like I just I just can't. And it was the the frequency of how much I was doing it. I was doing brow waxes every two weeks, which it all di is different for everyone. Um really, I didn't need it done every two weeks. It just looked like I did because she was taking so much of my brow off and you know like the extra pieces on the top and the bottom were just growing in so fast because they were being ripped out constantly and yeah I was going every two weeks and now I get my brows done every month so I'm literally I went from two times a month to once a month that's what my brows are gonna look like I think they look pretty good okay I think that looks pretty good um, I'm going to go ahead and film a video for you guys. I'm not sure what yet. I have so many ideas. I was at work one day and I just had like a huge splurge of ideas and I immediately just put them in the notes of my phone um, so that I wouldn't forget. So some very cool and fun videos are coming up. I will see you guys later on.